I had a situation with next fan where I, I had to get my tax refund. They didn't refund my taxes. I'm still waiting on money. Next fan is a very horrible company to deal with. No one from next fan a company has contacted me or my family about it. It's a very horrible company. Please do not deal with next fan. It's a very horrible company and the customer service is terrible. First of all, I'm a customer where I have got a net spend card from the HEB to like prepaid and um, load stuff on my card. I used it for my tax refund, which they give you that option. They advertise you can use it for your tax refund. You can get your tax refund back within like two days faster and all that. So um, I actually used the next spend card a few times before I had it. They sent me a card out with my name, personalized it and everything. Um, I had been using it to pay like a, something I had another loan I had or whatever. So my income tax came, um, they put the money in my account, but all of a sudden it was, it wasn't there. It was, it was there for me to get it. I had the option to get it. And then like not even an hour later, I went to the Walmart to pull the money off and I couldn't. So it was a lock. So I'm just thinking, okay, it's a lock. I give them a call. They unlock the, the unlock it and we can go on and purchase items. Minded, this is a crisis right now. We got all kind of things going on. Like I needed my money, my family is just me, my fiance, and my little son, my my son. So it's a crisis going on. So I needed my money. It's that was five over five thousand dollars they locked up. So we talked to him, me and my fiance both, to make sure we was getting the correct understanding. They told us that the money uh, would be resent to me. They was to send the money. They would send the money back to me in like twelve to fifteen days. Um, because my account wasn't, they had to verify the account to make sure it was me, which is crazy because this is a, a state check. I mean, nobody's giving you a fake income tax check these days, IRS. That's crazy. So I'm like, okay, so I kind of dealt with that. That's already was like 12 days. 12 days later, it was like, and then they did give me an option. It was like, okay, that was the only option. It was nothing else they went on to try to do to help me in this situation or nothing. 12 days later, it came nothing in the mail. I called them. They oh they every time I called them, everybody I talked to giving me a totally different answer. Like one person telling me they sending it back to the bank. They can't verify my account. The money's there. The money's not there. Like nobody can tell me an official answer, which is crazy. So they at this point they have my money. It's locked up. It's on hold. I can't receive no money. So this is like twelve to fifteen days later. They have over five thousand dollars. Can't. And nobody can tell me what about my money. Then after that, after the 15 days later, they telling me it can take three weeks for me to get my money back. And then, I mean, then they got also have my stimulus check now that they got sent to their bank at this point, which is another twelve hundred dollars. So that's almost seven thousand dollars that they can. They just it's in the air. And it's like there's nothing they can do about it. And it's a crisis. And it's that's crazy because it's just me and my family down here. And it's not me. I go on the website and I see this happens all the time. Like they always have complaints about this. If you try to use a large amount, your account getting locked up. They talking about they gotta verify you. All that's done at the beginning. The verification and all that is prepaid. This is your money. They not giving you anything. And at the end of the day, they have I have received the check now, which has been twenty days later. They gave it to me, but they lied to me, telling me that they sent it back to the IRS, which wasn't true. They lied to me, telling me that the IRS called and contact them the IRS called to contact them i have this on recording and everything and which is a lie like they just lied to their customers and told them to send my check back that was not true they never sent my check back to the IRS. they had the check i feel like they doing some kind of and scam within the company because they sent me a check from their company then they charged me for sending me a check to their company so they charged me for sending me out a check so they took more money for me to send me out a check and it been like 20 some days before i even received the check then I still have a twelve hundred dollar check that I still haven't never got that they said IRS have it and it's just in the up in the air again, which they told me I already had the five thousand dollar check, which they lied because I ended up receiving it like a couple of days ago and it came from the, from them. So it's been way horrible. I mean, I had a kid in this process, like I almost went homeless, like getting through this situation, like it was crazy because there's no work. Like I depended on that. It was like five hundred dollars. That was over seven thousand dollars. And I'm still missing like twelve hundred, and they still took my money. And my fiance, we've been going through this since for the longest, and oh, it's yeah, been we crazy. We contacted the office, we contacted the headquarters, we contacted like the everybody, the president, like nobody the helped us. The president of Nate's been like nobody helped us to resolve the issue. Nobody really told us anything except one lady, which was 
Kenneth Nelson, Kenneth, assistant. Yeah, my assistant. fiance can speak on it a little more. That's the other person with the interview because she also talked to it because she helped me because we were together. Um, she talked to like Kelly Nelson. That's the only person that actually reached out to us. And I mean, it really wasn't nothing that they did. That I mean, because everything it was still a lie. Like I still missing money. I still have twelve hundred dollars out here that they telling me the IRS has and they don't have it. Like it's 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 just crazy. And unfair. Um, have you contacted anybody who would uh, experience the same problem? Do you know somebody else? I haven't directly contacted anybody, but my fiance, Navina Kelly, she has experienced the same problems with Nick Spin. Like they kicked her out of her account, they locked her up. She can't get an account. Like this is prepaid. Like there's no reason they should be kicking you out of prepaid account. They're locking your accounts up. She's one person. And just overall, like I look on the internet, it's a uh, hundred of people over there. Like that has complaints with them. But my fiance, Nabina Kelly, she has complaints with them also. So what should they do? Uh, what should NetSpan do uh, to regain your trust? I mean, honestly, they shouldn't lock up my money. And I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal, but it's like a crisis. And I still have money out there. I have a kid and family. Like, I could have lost my car. Like, just from them even reaching out, or even giving a thanks, or understanding the, the customer service, you can't understand them because... They're, they're, they're not speaking English, so their language is not, you can't understand anything they're saying. Like, even if they could have smallly compensate me for what I had to go through, because we had to borrow money and try to get money to do things, which is crazy when I have over $7,000 myself. I'm out here, not, you know, in this disaster. Like, you can't just go work. Like, I can't just go to work because you know the situation right now. So even if they could compensate me or just... Anything would be grateful at this time. Uh, what recommendations would you give uh, to other customers of NetSpend? What should they know? They should not use them. I mean, I, I give them like they are horrible. Like customer service is horrible. If you call for any questions, it's horrible. Like you don't you can't get through them. Um, don't use them. <laughs> like they are really are horrible. Long. You on hold with them. You can't. Then they close early at like nine. So like if you a working person, like you can't really contact them throughout the day like they are a horrible company and horrible service to deal with and that is crazy living in today like you'll think it's much better it's prepaid like you give them money to deal with your money because you don't want money extra money on you and to keep your money safe and it's like they taking your money and they giving it to you whenever and that's totally unfair so please do not deal with next thing why did you decide to share your story on our website Because it's hard, man, to help other people. It's like, um, it's a lot of things like I, I that happened within that I just let go by. But like, this was crazy. This was a crisis, and I was able to get through it. But other people can't. Like, I seen to where people and put their money in it, and they can't feed their kids. Like, I have that same situation. I have a three year old, and I have a fiance, and it was almost to that point to where I couldn't pay my car note to feed my son because I couldn't go out to work because these people are really holding on to my money. Like, it really got that serious. So. It's crazy, so I needed to report this and get this out. Like, I'm tired of people just going by messing over citizens with their money. Like, we work hard for this and stuff, so I'm tired of it. Like, that's not fair for them to be able to do this, so I, I need to so get this out. And if I have to be divorced, me and my fiance and my family have to be divorced, we will be divorced to get this out. So do not go with next spend anywhere, and I would like if they compensate me and my family for this crisis. Mm -hmm.